I haven't gotten to where I want to be yet. I mean, I've accomplished a lot of things, thank God. Hey. What's up? So it's coming out midnight tonight? Okay, um, so let me just figure this out. Hold on, because my fans are going to go crazy. So is that definitely going to come out midnight tonight, Eastern Standard Time? Yeah, just, yeah, confirm it before I tweet, because if I tweet it and, my, and, I, and don't come on, my fans are going to kill me. So don't do that. See, the thing is, but I'm, I'm rehearsing and stuff. I kind of would, I kind of would rather it come out at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard tomorrow. What do you think? I can't, I don't know. I'm asking my fans if they want the Anaconda video at midnight tonight or if they want it at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow. Yeah, you look at it and you see for yourself. Midnight, midnight, midnight. <laughs> Nick, is that even a question right now? See, they get a, they have an attitude. My fans have an attitude, if you didn't notice. No, 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 no. And that's what I ain't going to do. Because what y'all don't realize is that I'm rapping live, and I don't want to use any of my breath. By the way, what'd he say? He could tell I ain't missing no meals. Come through and check him out my automobile. Let him eat it with his grill. So he keep telling me to chill. He keep telling me it's real. They deliver like, oh my God. Look. <laughs> There's a lot of pressure on this performance. It's me, Jesse J, and Ariana Grande. It's my first time actually performing on the main stage at the VMAs, number one. And number two, every performance should be better than my last. That's how I look at it, which is why I'm implementing things that I haven't done before with this amount of dance. So, you girls take a five. What's lunchtime? What time? Five is to six. A whole hour for lunch? When I was when I was working nine to fives, I remember I used to huh, be lucky if I had thirty minutes. When I was a waitress, I was on my feet for twelve mother hours a day, and we had fifteen mother minutes. We had to steal the bread and eat that because on a busy day, you can't stop to eat. You can't stop. Where do you work at? Red Lobster. That's right. I worked at Chili's. I worked at Diddy. <laughs> well, right. What's, what's, right, really, Danny. what's yeah. really good? Yeah. What's really good? <laughs> what's right. Can I take your water? <laughs> Actually, no. I have to approach the table a certain way. Welcome to Relax, and my name is Onika. May I take your order? No. Welcome to Relax, and my name is Onika. Um, our fresh fish of the day, our drink of the day is the Sunset Passion Clotta. How can I help you and your lovely girlfriend? And then the people write, You got bread? <laughs> to actually do the VMAs with one of the biggest artists out right now is just really dope. Are you ready to see yourselves? Um, let me get this laptop so I can show you guys the video. And guys, the more attitude you have, the better. So it's okay to be hood. Like that's the purpose of the way the song and the message of the song really. Outside of just fun, it's like uh, big booty girls. It's like girls in the hood, like runaway girls. It's like that whole yep, yeah, mm -hmm, yep. Yeah, don't be ashamed of who you are. Like that's the feel of it. So I know that you guys have technique, but but personality goes a long way too. Okay, let's run it, you guys.
Rehearsal is fun, gang. Let's have it. Yeah, rehearsal is fun. Yeah. <laughs> One lonesome, yeah. <laughs> the dancers was like, bitch. Yo, day one, like, like for real day one, and you locked and loaded the whole thing, and we got tomorrow all day. We got so much time. We just gotta figure out the clothes. What happened? She got bit? The snake bit her. I can't see. They can't see me. It was a disaster waiting to happen. Every human needs to push themselves to the point of breaking sometimes. You gotta see what you're capable of. And if you never break, you never know how much pressure you could take. I had never performed my own solo song on the main stage at the VMAs. So to open the VMAs, it was very important that I wasn't gonna just half-ass it. We rehearsed for a week. So Ariana just got here. When do we start? Does anybody know? Uh, Four fifteen. Our dancers are out there now. The snake is here. Everything works. This is one option. It's Friday, and I think the show is Sunday at five. So it's almost 48 hours to go. And I am still choosing outfits and wardrobe and shoes and blah, blah, blah. So what would you like me to get from them? Because I want to get what you want. What can't happen is I can't have my dancer's wardrobe f up my camera angles. Because what will happen is on the day of the show, live TV, they will cut from it. Like, if they start seeing vaginas and shit, they will cut. <laughs> and f up my camera angles, and it's, 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 it ain't gonna be funny. Someone needs to call an ambulance. What's wrong? Did she get bitten? What happened? She got bit? Oh the snake bit her. Oh my god, the Who snake bit? bit her. Can we get the medic, please? Okay. I need a medic to the stage right away. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, there's blood dripping. They need to. Don't worry about that. Don't worry. It didn't hurt him. It's scary. Did you know when it was happening? Yeah. And you couldn't break, you couldn't get him off. Oh my god! This thing, he needs to jump on stage and get it. Oh my god! I gotta keep on. I feel so bad. Yeah. Wow, TMZ snake bites dancer during VMA rehearsal. Already. Wow. Unbelievable. Snake, a bit the snake, a new snake, a new snake. Viacom cut the whole thing. They said no. Where's Mishka? I can't believe she's not here. I need the the bang bang outfit so that I can do the change on the side of the, the stage. The quick change. It was a disaster waiting to happen. Give me 
give me this, give me this, That's give me this. I want you to have a pair of scissors. Jasmine has a pair of scissors. When I walk down, I'm gonna be facing this way. We have 40 seconds. We we cannot save the sneakers. I have another pair of sneakers. We can't save it. She has to. You listen to me. I don't know why we keep on doing this, Rushka, because I could be trying on my red carpet dresses. that you will not forget about. It's the 2014 Video Music Award. It starts now. Two minutes, two minutes. like this unexplainable energy that surrounds the VMAs. I had so much fun performing Anaconda. The way the crowd sang with me and lit up, if you were in the room, like the way you could hear them be so loud, like they just gave me life. But then I only had 40 seconds to change. It was just my team holding black sheets around me. I can't see. They can't see me. No one can hear it because we're in the midst of the fans. And all of a sudden, it's like everything started to go in slow motion. I felt my top unloosen in the back, but apparently they didn't take my wires and packs off of it. Now they have to scramble and pull it back up and take this and take that off. The plan was not too ambitious. No, absolutely not. I've done it before. It's happened before. Quicker changes. It's not enough for her time. It's not to blame nobody. I think so. Universe is so big, and when people pushing, oh, why you didn't do this way or you did that way, doesn't make sense at all. I guess some of the string or the inseam was just not zipping up. I just kept holding on to a little bit of hope that that zipper was going to go up. But I knew that if I stayed one more second, I would have missed my cue. When I'm faced with crazy adversities, I turn on a switch that I don't even know I have sometimes. I had to get out and do what I had to do. I didn't come there not to go out on that stage, so. The show must and will go on, and that's that's kind of like been my life. Thank the Lord it was a headset mic. If it wasn't a headset mic, they went over. I just ruined Jesse J's performance. I hope nothing more on Anaconda. You, 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 you killed it. You did carpet. You did Anaconda crush it. You did Jesse J. I just want to give you a chance to respond to the people who said you did that for attention. Oh my God! Oh my God! And that's the thing, only people that would say that would be people who don't know me. Like, I, I, I hate shit like that. I don't need attention that bad. You know, I would never do that. I would never embarrass myself by holding my dress on the freaking VMAs for what? How do you feel? Stupid. Because I had a wardrobe malfunction on the VMAs. It'll never happen again, but I don't like to be unprofessional, and I don't like to get my job. I don't like to not get my job done. That was a part of my job. I got such a great compliment from Beyonce about that moment. She was like, respect. As an entertainer, 
I gained so much more respect for you from the way you handled that. <laughs> you look beautiful, baby. Yeah, how are you? I'm so mad. So thank you. I can't get my dress up in time. So you can't put it on? Um, too bad. Tell everyone. You can't fit it over that big old. <laughs> I'm going back to Queens where I was raised. My parents, my friend, my dad, my mother. How's everyone, Frank? This house was the house that my father burned down. just doing stuff like this. It's just it's too time consuming. I just don't feel like any of this matters if my album isn't done. Like, what is it even for? Or what's the status of it? It's almost done, but my whole September is booked. A lot of stuff happening. They have me scheduled to do something literally every day. If it was up to me, I wouldn't do any of this stuff. I would go to the studio and record. Why can't you do that? Because it's a business. If a soda company wants to make soda, they can. But they also have to shoot commercials. They have to put up billboards. I, I provide for my family, but I don't spend the time that I would want to spend with them because I have to work. What is this all for if I'm not with the people who I care about the most? If I see my family and my friends four or five times in a year, what is it all for? I'm gonna be in New York for a week and I only had one day to be where I used to live. And so, Today, I'm going back to Queens where I was raised after I came from Trinidad. There are really nice places in Queens and there are really not so nice places in Queens, but I feel like people are united. I feel like people are proud of where they're from, no matter what they have, you know? There's an energy in the air that feels um, very young and alive. And there's something there that makes me feel like I'm back home. Hi. I didn't see you in a long time. My parents, my friends, and uh, my mother. <laughs> <laughs> this is Joy, and I've been coming to her to get my nails, my eyebrows done and nails deals done for like how many years? Ten years? Ten years. And this is her husband, Simon. Even if my nails are done, I always come by to say hi to them because they're just great people. I just love them so much. And this is my girlfriend, Taisha. I call her Titi. Oh, you got my ugly picture up there. Oh, my God, I'm ugly. <laughs> Years ago, when I was just putting out mixtapes, they let me come and shoot a video in here. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. The kids can't believe that they came out of school and I'm just randomly sitting here. <laughs> I see how proud they are of me and it makes me feel incredible because I used to stand on that same corner and sell my mixtapes. All right, Dry, thank you. No, I'm not gonna let you do that. No. Well, I'm leaving it here. I don't care what you say, Joy, stop. She does this 
this to me every time I try to pay. Please, Joy, let me pay. There are kids there that I've never seen, but they feel like they know me. They feel like I walk the same street, they know where I live. They feel like she made it out of here and I can make it out of here too. Those little kids are proud to say they're from South Side Jamaica Queens and they should be. I think it's less about what I give to them and more about what they give to me. They give me hope, really, because they make me feel like I can do anything. They really do. Stay in school! Stay in school! You hear me? Thank you, baby. Bye! I love you. In the area that I grew up in Queens was a little bit rough, was a little bit tough. This was the block that I was on every day of my life. Like, we were on this block causing trouble, getting into trouble every day. How's everyone, Frank? How's Sparkles? Tell her I said hi and miss her. This corner was significant because this is where all the drug dealers used to sit, on crates. And so when we was walking home from school, it would be nothing but crack vials. Like, all up and down the street, just little crack vials. This is my old house. When we had hard times, my mother had to rent out her house, and we all four had to move in the basement, which was a studio apartment. Studio basement for four people. And um, I, we just used to have to walk by and see another family living beautifully in the main house, and we had to walk in the backyard and go downstairs in our basement. And, you know, gotta do what you gotta do. This house was the house that my father burned down. Me and my brother, we were at um, a neighbor's house spending the night that night. They came and said, your house is burning down. I just remember running, racing down, and I remember when I got here, I just saw a big commotion, and I, I was so scared, I didn't know what happened, but everybody was running over here, and I just looked. My house was gone. The house was gone. All of my toys, all of my clothes, all of my memories. I had a lot of hard times in that neighborhood, but I came through. It turned me into someone that can face anything. How are you, Grandma? How you doing? Have you heard Nikki's music? Well, she had one, one or two songs I don't appreciate. You did a lot of cursing. Yeah. Before the music. <laughs> <laughs> you think you're cute? Thank you. This is Aisha's daughter. And how old are you? Four. I really wanted to see her today. She's so beautiful. She's a little model. I love her so much. I'm very, very proud of where I'm from. Crystal's house, Naima's house. Well, everything looks nicer now. I can't believe they got, like, grass. It's like a real yard now. When I go back to Queens, no matter how long I stay away from it, there's a feeling of unity, there's a feeling of family. How are you, Grandma? How you doing? Fine. Okay. How, this is, T, this is Titi and Aisha's grandmother, Miss Kalor. Where's the car, Titi? Me and Grandma will be partners, and we always win. Made one. <laughs> when I started being friends with my best friends, Titi and Aisha, I started spending a lot of time in their home, and their grandmother sort of just took me under her wing as well. Thank the love, partner. I'm always doing you a good hand. I don't know why. I felt like I had two sisters, and then when I go back into that world, it's, it's so therapeutic. We just laugh, 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 laugh. So you! And I think me being around my family, it takes care of me. And sometimes I think you have to stop and take care of you. And if that means surrounding yourself with people that you really love, 
then you gotta do that. Grandma just always so super like thoughtful to me. I mean, she would yell and scream at us, but she always treated me like I was part of the family. Have you heard Nikki's music? Well, she yeah, one, has one or two songs I don't appreciate, but the rest of them I do. I know she doesn't want me cursing. Yeah, That's for sure. That's the one. People need to express their anger in music, Grandma. You did a lot of cursing. Yeah. Before the music. Yeah. <laughs> Onika and Grandma, 122. We T lost because I just want to go for five lessons. 93. <laughs> What was Nikki like when she was younger? Well, she liked boys. I remember you did not like me being with Aaron. And one time I went to his house and I spent the night and you told my mother. Yes, I did. Because you told a tale on me. I, oh, because I told her that I spent the night at your house. I know, but you didn't. But I couldn't believe you would tell on me, Grandma. I know that. That's why I did. <laughs> <laughs> Going back to the first song of the album, in the third verse. I want Kaya to go to college just to say we did it. My child with Aaron would have been 16 any minute. So in some ways, I feel like Kaya is the both of them. It's like he's Kaya's little angel looking over him. What are you talking about there? A child that I would have had with Aaron. Were you pregnant? We just had a terrible um, mistake. We had to pay for that. What you think you're doing over here now? Oh, now you my friend. I understand that some women have children earlier and feel like that's their destiny, but I always felt like my destiny was to be accomplished in my career first and then have children. And I feel like I would be a great mom. I always wanted to be a mother, so I know that that will happen one day. Well, you're pretty damn busy. How are you going to pull that off? Well, I won't be doing it right now. That's for sure. Who's that? Um, Auntie. Auntie Mickey. Yay! When's the last time you saw Auntie Mickey? In the highway. You saw her in the highway. Oh, well, she probably saw a billboard or something, like the yes. mixed com It's right there. Yeah. In the highway. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, now I'm right here. I came off the billboard on the highway, and I'm here. All right, it's here. <laughs> Your little tiny voice is cute. Thank you. And my donuts, please. Sure. I'll go grab this. Mm -hmm. so I brought you plastic and oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Joe, man. Hola. Um, put on the eighth inch, please. Uh, you up. Thank you. I wanted to make a sexy record that was fun. I wanted it to be super sing along. It sounded so clean. My inner kind of don't. My inner kind of don't. And I was just like, oh my God. Everybody wants to get nasty to this. It was, it was very like geared towards being proud of your body. It empowers women. There are lots of thick girls who told me, thank you. I loved the world's reaction to the photo. All the memes had me cracking up laughing all day. I had We had so much entertainment on Instagram. Could not believe they made Marge Simpson have the anaconda butt. People had fun with it. So what do you think? I think it sounded good. What was the highlight of the show? The pink prank going on iTunes. It felt like, <sighs> The biggest sigh of relief that I took in the whole, in the last year. And it just signified accomplishment and it signified completion and joy and, and, and success.
best engineer of all time award goes to Juice. <laughs> Low point, um, the lowest point? Um, well, um, sometimes when things are difficult, we try not to see them. But I'm learning how to face reality. Can you play crying game? I didn't know that when I set out to make this album that it would entail an emotional roller coaster in my own real life. Welcome to the crying game where you lose your soul. Where it ain't no easy cash, you gotta use the toll. Ain't no cruise control, you about to lose control. Ain't no smiling faces here, we slamming doors and dishes. Saying we don't miss each other, but it's all fictitious. Saying that we had enough, but enough of what? Another slap to the face, another uppercut. I'm just abusive by nature. I don't think I set out to make a more emotional album. It's just that I write my life. I was in this long, 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 11 year relationship and was proposed to. I always told him, you know what? Let's hold off. Let's hold off. No one could prepare for this business. And until you are in it, you really can't wrap your brain around it. You feel like this business changed people that I really loved. And it's like, scary. It's scary. It's really scary. You know, they start worshiping material things and and forgetting about just good old fashioned love and trust and stuff like that. I guess that's why, you know, a lot of the songs are way more introspective, you know? Um, because I'm at a place now where um, I am stepping out of myself and looking at myself more. Brokenness leads to such beautiful art sometimes, you know? And I think I was really, really broken like writing this the brokenness is okay as long as it can inspire people that was just, that was just being fake happy. I wanted to deal with it and leave it and then move on and be real happy. This is the only thing that can make me happy. <laughs> Heaven sent. <laughs> Most people don't rap no more. Most people ain't even trying to spit. Yeah, you don't understand what I'm saying? They don't try to spit. They getting by. Everybody is getting by being, being, being um, fraudulent. <laughs> Nah, yeah, I was coming here to give you the two thumbs, thumbs up, like yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Sound like when you was doing it, like you had fun doing it, like right, you right. like if, like nah, y'all be like. I did have no, fun. This is exactly why I wanted y'all to come out here, cause I'm like, I just want to see their natural reactions. This right here, it's gonna have the place messed up for a little while, like a long while, like. These are two people who. 
like always kept me pushing my pen because mm -hmm. the same vibe I get from Wayne and Drake is the same vibe I get from them. <laughs> I said put it in his face like a cop badge. Yeah, he wanna pound it like a hashtag. <laughs> no, come on, like, come on, <laughs> Like, come on, bitch. I'm coming in here expecting one thing and then it's, 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 nah, yeah, it, like it is, it is, it is crazy. crazier than what I expected. Really? That's hard. Nah. That's hard, that's hard. Most people don't rap no more. Most people ain't even trying to spit. Yeah, you don't understand what I'm saying? Know. They don't try to spit. They getting by. Everybody is getting by being 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 um, fraudulent. Everybody's getting by being half ass. Everybody, make it everybody's out. getting by like yeah. not pushing their pen. Yeah. Do you know how many times I think to myself, why did I just rewrite this verse? When everything on the radio is That's a bunch of whack verses. If a nigga don't at some point in my rap do the stink face, then it's not cool. Like, it's not good. Everybody is just, and, and you know what? The world makes it okay now. You don't even have to be an MC anymore. Like, that's right. what's crazy. Yeah. And she came up with the dudes and surpassed every other dude and uh, is now able to stand next to the people she looked up to. I am not a female rapper. I'm not. And now they've diluted the term female rap. Yeah, I don't want to be called yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I always said that. I always said that. Like, yeah, like they fucked it up. Every they I heard it female up. rap, I'm like, you nah, like, it's not about you know, female rapper. She's you know, like the one of the best rap. The be it, to me, the best rapper. Your, 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 your time is ticking. You bitches will be around shorter than Vine You watch your mouth on my niggas and shoot up the club like what Shine did. Your time is ticking. You bitches will be around shorter than Vine like, yeah, You'll watch your mouth cool. while my niggas will shoot up the club like what Shine, Shine did. Yeah, 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 Goodbye. Yeah, yeah, Good night. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to put my album out for the niggas and the motherfuckers and my baby girls. Girls that can, that want to wanna have some truth and who see my heart in it. I just want people to see that it's heartfelt. And that's it. Push them girls in my pocket, the boom boom, then my wine up the wrist, and my pocket, the boom boom. Push them girls in my pocket, the boom boom, then my wine up the wrist, and my pocket, the boom boom. I see you. This is like you don't have to do that. Nicki Minaj, my time again continues now. to the East Coast just to be close to my friends and my family. Just being able to drive to my brother's house and my mother's house, it's, it does something for me. I can't explain it, but like, I need it in my life right now. I don't know if the secret of life is to find love, but I do think one of the secrets of life is to embody love. Because I feel like when you truly love others, like that love, like the universe just gives it back to you, you know? I want Onika to be the best Onika she could be. Like, forget trying to change everybody else. It's just like love, self-search, and let people do them. Because <laughs> people are going to do what they're going to do. I'm willing to figure it out now. I'm willing to fit the people I love into my world by any means necessary. I'm no longer putting career over who I love because it's not worth it. It's just not. It's just like you need that for your soul. So that's one of the things that I'm working on, just to be able to still enjoy my life, even in the moments of a lot of professional stress. <laughs> so you know this is a trilogy we're making, right? This is the second of three films we're making. <laughs> Dave is never gonna green like that. <laughs> no, no, Dave and G are working on the project. Right Where do you want to be then? Four years from now. 
I think four years is a time to have a child. But I would have to be married first. I kind of feel like there's a housewife some, somewhere inside of here. <laughs> as ironic as that may sound, I'm a little cute housewife walking around cooking and cleaning and like thinking, taking in my baby and breastfeeding my baby and just loving my baby. And, you know, making my husband happy. In terms of music, I would like to have at least five albums done so that my sixth album, I could come back and speak from a mother's perspective. And then that would be like my completion. That would be like, oh, it's done. And now what, you know? Or I might do 25 more albums, who knows? Don't miss Nicki Minaj's biggest MTV moments coming up next. And join Nicki right now on Facebook where she's answering your questions live.